What's up guys, this is Marcus from Studio One Expert, and today I thought we would build upon my last video, which is creating custom multiband compressors using the splitter. Now, we've got a basic foundation here set up in an effects chain, which is basically giving us a splitter that's split into three different frequency bands, and then we've got a fat channel that's across all three of those as they come back and sum together. So what I want to do now is I want to build upon this foundation and we can actually make this a lot more complex underneath the hood, but we can simplify it by using the channel editor. And we'll get to that at the very end. But in the meantime, let's start by making some adjustments to our effects chain here. So I'm just going to go up here and let's head over to category, personas and mixing. So the first thing I'm going to do here is that I'm going to add four separate mix tool plugins. So the first one we're going to put at the very front end of the chain. Now what this one's going to allow us to do is this will control the gain staging for the entire signal chain. So let's go ahead right now quickly and let us rename this. Let's name this input gain. Okay, so now we've got that set up. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to set a mix tool plugin after each of these compressors here. So it's going to be three different ones. So let's drag one mix tool over here. And now I'm going to hold down the option, or I guess that's Alt on a PC, and we'll drag that here. So we've got three different mix tools. Now I want to rename these mix tools. Let's call them low gain, mid gain, and high gain. All right, so I'm happy with that. And these make things really easy for us to figure out here when we're looking at our console here. Now, the next thing I want to do here is something that I didn't actually realize you could do until recently. When I was speaking to Arn over at Personas, he mentioned coloring the actual plugins within the routing tab. So if you hover your cursor here between the power icon and the drop down menu here, we can choose a color. So let's make all of our mix tools that have anything to do with gain or level, let's make them all red to keep things nice and easy for ourselves here. Now I'm going to make my fat channel. Let's make that purple. Okay. The splitter, let's make that something really bright. So we're going to go with yellow. Now, the next thing I want to do over here is we've already created the signal chain here where I've used the stock compressor that comes with persona studio one. But what I want to do now is we want to create something that's a little bit more custom here. So let's hop over to vendor and I'm going to start choosing some third party plugins that I like some of my personal favorites and let's start replacing some of the compressors here. So I'm going to grab the Sonics Dynamics plugin for my mid gain band. Now we'll go over to the soft tube and let's scroll down to the CL one B and let's use that on the lows. And last but not least, I want to use the universal audio plugins over here. And let's grab an 1176 and we're going to use that on the top end. All right. So the next step here would be coloring and renaming. So I'm going to quickly make these green. And I'm going to go ahead and name these comp low, comp mid and comp high. Okay, so now we've got something that's renamed that makes it really easy for us to recognize what's doing what. And if we open up the routing tab here, we've also got some colors, which makes it even easier for us to distinguish what's happening here. So the next thing I'm going to do here just for a second is I'm going to hop offline and I'm going to make some basic gain adjustments for each of these compressors and get things balanced out. And then I'll catch up with you in a minute or two. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've made some basic adjustments to these compressors, the low compressor, the mid compressor, and the high compressor, so that I'm getting some gain reduction. And I haven't done anything that's fine tuned by any means, but it's just more so so that we can put this workflow into practice. Now, the next thing that we want to do here is we want to start to use the channel editor to our advantage when we're using this type of workflow. So let's go ahead and open up the very first plugin in the chain here. So this is our input gain. And if you recall, this is an input gain, which is a mix tool, which is driving the gain staging for the entire effects chain. So what I want to do here is I want to map out the gain knob of the mix tool so that it is the very first gain knob on our channel editor. So I'm going to right click this over here and let's map this out to knob one. Now, the next thing I want to do here is you might've guessed it. I'm going to go to the low gain mix tool. 
I'm going to right click this and let's map this out to knob 2. Moving right along, let's go to the mid gain and let's map this out to knob 3. And we're going to go to the high gain and we're going to map this out to knob 4. So now we have all of these mix tools are mapped out to our channel editor. Now we have the choice to give it a custom name in the actual channel editor. So let's go ahead and do that. And in fact, I'm going to give it the exact same name as the names that I've chosen for all of these different plugins here. So I can go to here. Let's copy this. We can paste that now. Now I've just chosen to copy the names from the actual plugin name instead of typing because I'm a little bit lazy. But anyway, so now we have the channel editor has all of these knobs available so we can now adjust our blend in real time as if though these were sitting on a fader. So let's keep our eye on the reduction amount that's displayed here in the meter because we know at least one of these plugins is reporting that reduction amount to Studio One. And then we can use these three knobs now to blend our signal and we don't even need to have anything else open. So I'm going to go ahead and press play here. Want a little bit more gain reduction, I can drive that front end a bit. So that's using the channel editor in conjunction with the splitter workflow in order to simplify the process and allow us to blend our signals in a really neat and tidy way, as opposed to having to open up routing tabs and multiple plugin windows, we can just open up the channel editor and we've got basically everything we need to quickly blend our levels when using this type of workflow. And of course, if we like the signal chain and we like this color coding and we like this channel editor being mapped out the same way, we can do the exact same thing and we can store this effects chain. Let's store it as base two, gonna click OK. And now we have this entire effects chain stored. So at any given point in time that we wanna implement it, all we've gotta do is load our base two effects chain and we've got everything ready to go and all of the appropriate gains have been mapped out to the channel editor to make all the adjustments that much easier. I hope you guys got something from this and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.